My fascination with alligators started at a very young age. Uh, 1956, my father actually got a baby alligator for me. Back then, some gas stations in Florida gave a free baby gator to every customer who filled up their tank. At the time, Bob was just five years old. He immediately grabbed a hold of my finger. Uh, so I've just been in love with, uh, with him ever since. He's got 80 teeth in there, 40 on the top, 40 on the bottom. Now anything falling inside of his mouth, they react by instinct and reflex, will cause him to close his mouth. Even a little grain of sand will cause him to slam his jaw shut. Bob's been performing shows with alligators for 43 years. He knows it's a risky business. You always stand a chance on getting bit. It's a very beautiful September day. I'm getting ready to go over and do uh, a show. A few parents and a uh, few small kids in the audience. An audience member is videotaping the show. My mind's not quite where it should be. You really shouldn't be messing with alligators unless you really are thinking clearly. I was moving uh, a little bit too slow. My arms were back a little farther than they should have been. The gator has bitten right through his bicep. Bob's in agony, but he has to keep the animal from twisting away to avoid an even more serious injury. The alligator has a bite force of over 2,000 pounds per square inch. If he'd swung his head to the right, it would have ripped the whole muscle off. Every now and then, the alligator will just clench his jaws tighter. I grip my teeth. And every now and then, he clenches a little harder. I'm looking at, at the kids in there, and I think of my granddaughter and how traumatic it, it would be if, if she was to see something like this. So I'm trying to make it just seem uh, like, like there's no danger. OK, let's try. Bob's been trapped for nearly three excruciating minutes. His only hope is that his assistant can force open the gator's jaws. No, there's nobody here. I, I'm it. Sorry, folks. Okay. I'm it. If the gator doesn't relax its grip, it could rip Bob's arm apart. Luckily, he didn't actually grab the bone. It was just uh, the muscle and flesh. And you can see a little indent there where the big tooth went through the muscle there. And he actually squeezed it. And that's the scar where it came out there. So is this part of the show? This is all part of the show. As I look at, at it now, mentally, I just, I just wasn't ready to start yet. I need to remind myself that uh, it's all right to have somebody else take over for a day.